Lindsay, we're in the kitchen with Karen, and uh, you have a great topic because you said, hey, we're going to show you how to properly clean a cutting board. And I said, don't you just throw it into the sink and submerge it? Please don't, don't ever do that. She said that ever, it? ever. It is the cardinal rule of a cutting board. Don't ever, ever soak it in water. It will literally, so you see how a cutting board a lot of times will have like these little squares in it. Well, mm -hmm. these were carefully glued together. and pressed together. When you stick a board in water, just like you would stick a fence board, if it got super wet, it bows. Mm. It will ruin. It is the worst thing you can do. And in fact, both of my kids ruined cutting boards over COVID when well, they were with me. I probably would have had you not just told me. So yeah. you said there's a proper way there to do it. There is a proper way to do it. Now you can always take a little, if you're not gonna do a full clean, you can take a damp, I use a microfiber towel, mm -hmm. and you can just wipe. Just, you can just wipe okay, it down a little bit. Clean, so let's just, just water. So if you're just okay. like kind of between things, just wipe it down, but a little water goes a long way. So your cutting board might, you're like, uh, it's still not doing well. Yeah. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a lemon. Okay. You're gonna take salt. That is gonna be your abrasive, your salt and a half a lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna put baking soda. What does that do? Baking soda and the lemon are gonna deodorize this. Oh, okay. So you can put your towel down. Now watch this. We're gonna take our baking soda and our lemon, it's not been squeezed, and we're gonna... Rub it in? We're scrubbing it. Yep, we're scrubbing this really good. Am I kind of squeezing a little bit of the juice you out? You can. Okay. It's gonna put a little of the lemon oh, juice yeah. out. See this? And look, you're scrubbing just like you do a bath scrub. Do I do the salt also? Yep, okay. I, mine's really dirty. So I'm so I'm, afraid I'm gonna ruin something now because I do everything you're wrong. You're not, you're not doing anything wrong. See that? Yeah. Look at all how dirty that is coming up and make sure and get your sides. Woo, I just got a little lemon in the eye, was be that careful. Me? No, that was me. Oh, okay. So just do your sides and then do the other side. And you're just gonna scrub it really, really good. Then come back with your microfiber towel. Okay. Good job, girl. Thanks. I just dip it in a little water and then, go and then I'm it. going to wipe it down. I, if you'll notice, I'm not submerging this in water. I am not, it is not good for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. So I gotta wipe this area too. Okay. And then what you're gonna do, so you say, how do I let this dry, Karen? Yeah. It's wet, it's damp. The way you store your cutting boards to dry is like that. Oh, okay. Don't ever set them down like that. You gotta let the water To dry, you've gotta let, you're gonna try to expose as much surface to air to get it to, you know, Evaporate, and, and that is the way you clean a cutting board. It's so that. simple, you just, it's household items and no chemicals involved. I have never been taught that. Well, I every kid should know this and even big kids. Don't ruin your mama's cutting board. No, because she'll get madder than a wet hand and a chicken fry, <laughs> I promise you. Great information again, thanks Sassy. Thanks.